Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 14 of new USB tutorials we will be seeing about validate JSON schema node which is nothing but a node which will be validating JSON messages against a JSON schema. So, so the example that I am going to use for this was uh, downloaded from uh, json schema.org so I thought I need to give credits to them so let me open the flow so first we have an input HTTP connector so if you go through the settings it is listening on 8082 on localhost and the URI which it, it is listening is in validate and next we have a validate json schema and you can see that uh, we have provided the json scheme schema location so if you have a schema which we need to validate the easiest way is you should be importing it into our project so what i have done is so you can use import and you have file system and you can browse so here I have it under uh, resources schema json you click ok it will provide you all the json files which are available over here so product is the one which we need and you can select the ones that you need and you can select the folder in which you need it to be placed so here uh, validation is nothing but the project name so src main source so I can choose the folder in which this file needs to be residing as well so I have chosen it as uh, source so if you click finish it will be loaded over here so that's how it got loaded over here okay so when you give the schema location it's not necessary that you need to give the whole path it's just okay to provide the name of the file alone so I have just provided it as product of JSON okay so if I open the file I'll just open the file quickly. So this is the <coughs> JSON schema. So, so you have uh, certain uh, components which are mandatory. So if you see in here, the ID, name, and price are mandatory elements, which should be present in this schema. Sorry, in the JSON input. Otherwise, it's not. A valid uh, JSON message as per this schema okay so now let me go to the sample file so this is a sample file which we created out of the schema so we have two items which is uh, which has an ID 2 and uh, the other has an ID 3 so as per the schema if you see over here uh, ID name and price are mandatory ID name and price of entry. So now what we can do is we can post this message using SOAP UI. Okay. So, so close this. <coughs> so I'll paste this. So make sure that you have, uh, choose your application media type as uh, application json okay so now this is a valid uh, json so so what happens is if it is a valid json it will go to this node and it will say me pass and it will return this pass as my response so now we have a valid uh, json which uh, which adheres to the schema of the product json we have used so now we can post it so the method that I'm going to use is post okay so it has become connection refuse because I have not deployed the project so let me run it as mule application so this might take a few seconds so let's wait for it
so it's getting executed so it has been deployed successfully so now we can do the same over here you can post it so now we can see we have got the message as passed that so the uh, json uh, message that we used adhered to the json schema which we were validating against so now what we can do is let me remove this name tag in the first one okay so now let me see how it reacts now i'll post again so now you can see that uh, there is an error message so the json content is not compliant to the schema so and and it says the uh, exact thing which is missing as well missing the name the name element was missing so it provides us the exact element which is missing so this is how you can use uh, your validate json schema node to validate the incoming json messages so that's all for this video so you'll be seeing about uh, some other notes in my next video and thanks for watching this bye